Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, I like to have AutoCAD do as much of the work for me as possible. Are you with me? If you are, then you're gonna absolutely love this tip. Now, I do not like switching back and forth from one current layer to another current layer based on what I'm doing. So I'm gonna get AutoCAD to automatically set my current layer up for me. Oh yeah, whenever I do text, whenever I do hatching, whenever I attach an XREF, and whenever I do dimensions. Oh yeah, that's the deal, all right? I don't wanna be flipping my layers back and forth. I'm, I'm too good for that. <laughs> so let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, I'm gonna start off with the newest one. Hopefully you are a subscriber and you have downloaded the latest update to AutoCAD 2020, because I was super excited about this command. And that is, is actually a system variable, not a command, text layer. So this controls whenever you do single line text or M text what layer that text is going to land on. Oh yeah, you can sit back and relax. It's gonna put it all on the right layer. You can just add your text without even thinking about it. So, in, and it's asking you for what layer you want that to go on. You can even make up a layer. <laughs> if the layer doesn't exist, it will make it for you right there on the spot using the default settings, okay? But you probably have a layer you wanna actually put it on, but just, just letting you know. What else have I got for you? How about hatching? Let's go, let's pretend we're gonna do some hatching. And you'll see, of course, that will take you to the hatch creation tab on the ribbon. And you will see if you drop down this arrow for properties, you will see that, look at this, what does it say? Hatch layer override. What, that's fabulous. This allows you to control the default layer for your hatch patterns. And you probably wanna put it on a layer that, I don't know, has something to do with hatch, <laughs> right? Like so. From now on, whenever you go into hatching, you don't have to change your current layer. AutoCAD will do that for you. When you're done hatching, it's gonna put it right back to your previous current layer. Same with what I showed you with the text, all right? So now we've got two. All right, what else have I got for you? XREF layer. Okay, this, is an, this is another one that you have to type in, by the way. XREF layer, not in a ribbon anywhere. So this controls the layer that your XREFs you know, come in on, the default layer that they that they new XREFs are inserted onto, all right? So once again, if you type in a layer that doesn't exist, it will create that layer, but it will not create that layer until you attach an XREF. So like if I type in um, Wilma right here and I go check my layer listing, I thought, let's do it. In fact, let's just do it. There's no Wilma in this drawing. You'll just have to believe me. <laughs> so if I come over here, you will see there is no Wilma. But if I attach an XREF, then it will show up. All right, so that's good. I don't need it unless I decide to attach an XREF. All right, that's three. I'm feeling lazier by the second. I'm feeling more powerful. All right, the last one for dimensions. If you go to the annotate tab on the ribbon and you will see right here, dim layer override. Oh my goodness, where has this been all of my life? So you of course will come up here and you will set whatever layer you want to have as your default setting for dimensions. Yes, so whenever you dimension, you don't have to change your current layer. AutoCAD is gonna do that work for you. Oh yeah, as it should be, other people doing your work. I love it, that's what I like. Now, what if it turns out you have a different layer you wanna put your dimensions on? No problem, you can still change your current layer. That's not a problem, you can come up here, right? You can still override it, it's not a problem. But just so you know, if, you're not, if, you, if you use a certain layer most of the time for your dimensions, for your text, for your XREFs, and for your hatching, by all means, come in here and set it, all right? Isn't that awesome? Admit it, it's awesome. I have saved you lots of time. All right, let's let AutoCAD do the work for us. I'm all about that. So I hope you found that tip to be valuable, and I'm gonna see you back here in two more weeks. Have a great week.